Hey guys, it's Fleur here from Fleur de Force and today on the Beauty Recommended channel I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this look which I am wearing right now. It is especially for the Christmas party season and if you want to see a step-by-step -step guide showing you how to do it then keep watching. So I'm going to start with foundation. I'm using two pumps of the Max Factor Face Affinity All Day Flawless Foundation and this is quite clever because it's three-in-one foundation with primer, concealer, and foundation so it's quite long lasting you don't need a primer before you use it and it gives you a kind of semi matte finish it's not too matte I'm normally a little bit wary of matte foundations but this gives you a very kind of natural finish but it's still quite flawless so it's perfect for parties I'm also going to use a little bit of concealer as well as the foundation just to cover up any problem areas I'm using my Chanel concealer in 20 and I'm just applying this directly onto any blemishes or redness on my face and then also my chin around my nose under my eyes and any other kind of redness or kind of pigmentation that I have then I'm going to blend this in with my finger and this is super quick and easy and I like doing it with my finger just because the warmth warms the product which helps it to blend nicely into your skin next I am using a powder just to set the foundation and concealer in place I'm using my bare minerals ready foundation which does have a little bit of coverage but I'm literally using a tiny tiny amount and just buffing that in with a big fluffy brush. Then for blusher I'm using my Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blusher in Soft Pink. I've been a fan of these for ages because they are so tiny, they're perfect fitting in your makeup bag or in your handbag and they're also really really easy to blend. I like blending mine using a brush instead of my fingers but you can use your fingers if you want and they also last a long time for cream blushes. Sometimes I find cream blushes will just kind of disappear throughout the night but these ones are really really good. Then for eyeshadow I'm using my MAC eyeshadow in Orb as a base colour and I'm applying this all over my eyelid and then also onto my brow bone as a highlight as well. So I'm going to do this to both eyes before going in with another colour which is MAC All That Glitters and I'm going to use a fluffy brush just to apply this onto my eyelid which adds a really pretty kind of shimmer. It's not too glittery, it's just a really nice kind of glow. Then I am using Sable which is another matte colour and I'm also going to mix this with a slightly darker colour called Twinks. So I'm going to mix two of these together and then using a big fluffy brush I'm going to apply them just to the outer corner of my eye and the crease and I'm going to blend them out so that you have just a very soft kind of slightly contoured look. And then once I've finished with the eyeshadows, I'm going to go in with my Max Factor Excess Intensity Eyeliner. And this is in Excessive Gold. And I really like these because they're almost like a cream or gel formula. You kind of twist them up and they come out. They're super soft, but they last for a really long time. And this color is kind of like an antique gold. I'm just applying this to the inner corner of my eye and then underneath my waterline. And then I'm using a little pencil brush just to blend it in to make it a little bit softer and then once I've done that I'm also going to apply the same colour on to my waterline of my eyes. So this can feel a bit funny but it looks really really pretty and it just adds a little bit of light and shimmer onto the waterline. And then once I've done that I'm also going to be using the same excess intensity eyeliner but in black which is called excessive charcoal and I'm going to be applying a tiny bit of this just along my upper lash line just to add a little bit of thickness and depth to my lashes before I apply my mascara and then I'm just using the same little pencil brush as well just to blend that in and slightly smoke it out it's not a smoky eye at all but it is a bit of a softer line and then I am going to curl my eyelashes just so that it really kind of opens up my eyes and prepares my eyelashes for the mascara that I'm going to be using which is Max Factors False Lash Effect Mascara. This is one of my favourite mascaras that you can get on the high street. It gives you so much volume and length, has a huge rubber wand but it's actually really really good and it stays on for a really long time without having to buy waterproof mascara. So again perfect for the Christmas party season. And then our look is almost done. The last thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of a darker shade of lipstick which I love wearing at Christmas time. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Matte Revolution Lipstick in Love Liberty which is a beautiful berry colour and I don't normally like matte lipsticks but this one is really lovely. It's really comfortable to wear and that is the final look. So that is it for this tutorial, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and you can also check out Anna's 
hair tutorial that she did especially for Christmas party hair if you haven't already seen that and if you have any big beauty questions then make sure you tweet us using the hashtag beauty cues and yeah let us know because this channel has been specially set up to answer Britain's biggest beauty questions and we're going to be doing a new video every single week answering one of those so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you again very soon bye guys